Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be going over how to configure EIGRP authentication for neighbor relationships and we're going to show the difference between doing it with uh, MD5 authentication with classic mode and the new SHA authentication with named mode. So I have our topology here and we have R1 which is running classic mode. Um, so on this link between R1 and R2 we're going to run MD5. And then on this link, which is a shared Ethernet segment between routers 2, 3, and 4, we're going to be doing the new SHA authentication. So let's actually just jump right in. Uh, R1, we have show run section router EIGRP. We're configured in classic mode and we're already neighbors with R2. So in order to configure um, the relationship to have authentication, the first thing we need to do is create a keychain. And we're gonna just call our keychain MD5 key. Uh, the next, with, within the keychain, we have to create an actual key. And then for the key string, we'll just say MD5 pass, because why not? So, now we're going to go into, well, instead of going into ERGRP mode, we're actually going to go into the interface, which is gig 112. From here, we have to use the IP authentication command. And we have to do both things, which is keychain and mode. So the first thing we'll do is just go ahead and do the mode. It has to be ERGRP. We have to put in the AS number, which is 100. And it has to be MV5. And then there's no more options. Then if we go back and do uh, authentication keychain, we have to see again, we have to specify the EIGRP for AS100, and the name of our keychain was MD5 key. So now let's take a look at our neighbor, show IP EIGRP neighbor. We can see that it's no longer there. Um, why is it no longer there? Well, we could do some debugs, but Instead, we'll just go show IP EIGRP interface detail for gig 112. And you can see at the bottom of this output, we have authentication mode is MD5 and the keychain is MD5 key. So let's go ahead to R2. We'll show run section router EIGRP here. And you can see here we are running the named mode. So let's go ahead here. What I'm going to do is actually just jump right in. And the configuration here, well, actually, I jumped the gun a little bit. I forgot that we have to configure our keychain. So keychain MD5 key, key one, key string MD5 pass. Now, it, it, it is possible that you do the same thing that I just did. You forget to configure the keychain, but you will remember when you go into EIGRP and actually, um, you know, try to configure it. So, and here's what I mean. So let's go into the interface, the AF interface for gig 112. And here we have authentication commands, but they're much less verbose. So you'll, you'll go to mode, and we're going to do MD5. That's it. Authentication keychain. And then word of the name of the keychain. So again, this is where I said you might forget to do the keychain, but as soon as you pop in here to go to configure it, you'll say, oh, the MD5 underscore key. So now let's do show IP EIGRP neighbor. We can see that we are have an uptime of one second, but our neighborship with one is back up. So now let's go ahead and configure the SHA, um, the new SHA uh, encryption between routers two, three, and four. And this is gonna be a much simpler configuration. So again, we're in router AF mode for EIGRP. And all we have to do is go into the AF interface for gig one, two, three, four, and Authentication, which 
you saw before, authentication mode. Here's the new HMAC SHA-256 authentication mode. HMAC SHA-256. And from here, you see we don't need to specify a keychain. Instead, we just have to type in the password. So we can type in a plain text password, or we can use uh, some encryption type to specify, you know, a, a key or a hash that we already had encrypted. In my case, I'll just create a key and we'll just call it SHA key. And now if we show IPEIGRP interface detail, let's take a look at our two interfaces. We have authentication mode MD5, keychain MD5 key for gig 112. And then for the link between 2, 3, and 4, we have authentication mode is SHA, HMAC SHA-256, keychain is not set. So this is good, we can't come in here and just take a look. Although, if we did a show run section router EIGRP, we can see that the key is here. So not that much security if someone gets access to your device, but let's, um, let's go ahead and configure this on router three and four. And in this case, what I'm going to do is let's just bring up a notepad and conf.t uh, router EIGRP CCIE. Address family is IPv4 unicast. Autonomous system is 100. AF interface gig 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the same on all three of the routers. Um, authentication mode is HMAX SHA-256, and we use SHA key. So now I'll just copy and paste this. Onto three and four. So let's take a look at router four, show IPEIGRP neighbors, and we're up with two and three. And again, we could do a show IP EIGRP interfaces detail. You see authentication mode is HMAC SHA-256. We look at router 2, show IP EIGRP neighbors. All of our neighbors are up and they're all authenticated. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it was clear. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. And we'll see you on the next one.